everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad book club. My name is Phoenix and once again I am joined with Kenzie. Hello, I'm so happy to be back. Yeah, I'm happy to have you back bro. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the wheel has spoken for us once again and after the, the brilliant saga that was uh, Brid Bridget x Jeff, we are now getting Alejandro x Elder. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Not as good as the uh, the other ship, uh, Alejandro x Tyler, but uh, uh, we'll make do here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll work with it. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't they last, like, past season five? I'm, I'm pretty sure they did, actually. Yeah, because other they're like, we realized that we don't need the money and we just need each other. And then Chris was like, anyone can have the million. And then they started fighting yep. over it. So I don't know if yeah. that makes them still a couple, but yeah. Hmm. But uh, yeah, that's that means they live. They well, they, they obviously they did live. I mean, their relationship lived. Yep. But Guess uh, so. but in this book that we found, uh, we have a, a reimagining like another season of uh, Total Drama, I believe. It's called. Yeah. Is is this all a game? Alla Heather. <laughs> Interesting. Yep. <laughs> oh, there's a sequel after this. Oh. Called Getting Her Back. Oh. So hopefully it's not as long as this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see. The description reads, Total Drama has always been a popular show. So with Chris being desperate to get even more views and ratings, he decides to bring back the old cast, varying from the first six seasons of Total Drama, as well as some from Redonkulous Race. When Heather is finally able to enjoy her life, a little letter stops the paradise she's made for herself. What will happen when the queen walks back onto the island? Will she see that handsome jerk again, or will she find someone else? Ooh. Is there going to be a love triangle thing going on? Probably. That'd be interesting. I I'd read that. Yeah. Alright, let's see. I have my phone to flip. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you want to be the, the phone case? Or do you want to be my lock screen? Um, I'll be the lock screen this time. Okay. Alright, I'm reading first. Okie dokie. Alright, welcome contestants. I wonder what... I wonder how many... Char like characters are gonna be here, and then if if it's only like a small amount, I wonder who's making the cut for this makeup season. Yeah, same here. Yeah, because it's like the the OG cast, the the Revenge of the Island, then it's the um, Pakatu Island and Redonkulous yeah, okay. Race. So uh -huh. a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. All right. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. POV. It had been almost eight years since the last time I participated in any Total Drama seasons. I was finally able to get my priorities straight. After wasting my time at university and earning myself a degree, I made my way up to be one of the wealthiest people in Canada. What can I say? I just love it when the world is revolving around me. Of course you do. Yeah, this is probably Heather then. <laughs> yep. <laughs> my secretary greeted me with a miserable smile as I entered my house and made my way towards the kitchen, where I see a very... Um ominous envelope laying on the counter. I don't know how that got there, miss. Monica's voice was shaking in fear of how I would react. I suddenly opened the yellow envelope to find a letter with none other than Chris McLean's face right in the center of it. I should have seen this coming. Hello, Heather. Remember me? I have invited you to join me as well as many other returning campers to another season of Total Drama. The prize will still be the million, but you have no choice but to join. What does this prick mean I have no choice? You agreed in your contract back when we started. Can't wait to see ya. Of course, of course, there's always a fucking contract. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> made this be a lesson to anyone. Always read the contract and the fine yes. print. This is, Please. Yeah, if I learned anything from Total Drama, it's that. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> the letter slowly falls out of my hands as I cover my face in horror. Chris is the only person in this world who loves to take my happiness away from me. I'm not gonna do it, but maybe I could finally win the money I deserve. Wait, what if he's there? 
I don't want to see that handsome jerk. Why would that stupid... What the fuck did that say? Span Spaniard? Spaniard even what? be there anyways. Okay. <laughs> With where he is in life right now, it would be a waste of time. Where he is in life right now, is he like... Like homeless or something? Or like not making good money? <laughs> what do you mean where he is in life? What? I mean, there's probably people like that I met in high school that kind of fit yeah. Alejandro's character that are just doing, like, jack shit. They're working at a gas station now, so... Yeah. I guess, I guess you got a point. <laughs> probably, yeah. Somehow, he's always seen to creep into my thoughts as if he never left or will never go away. His green eyes have haunted me since the last time I saw his... perfectly tan skin- No! I need to stop thinking about him. <laughs> I'm content with my life now, and I've moved on. Going to this competition may open wounds that that shouldn't be opened. Miss Mr. McQueen just called an order security to pick you up in the next two hours, my secretary said while looking at her iPad. All right, thank you, Monica. You're on break until I return. The girl suddenly became excited with my words. But don't get used to me being gone. Yes, ma'am. I started my way upstairs to go pack. Once this show is done, I'm going to rip that stupid contract so I'll never be s have to see anyone from that show again. Even that Spanish bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what, what kind of fucking vendetta did they became like BFFs after, after season 5, right? Like, Yeah. Did this person watch the, uh, All Stars? I, I wouldn't blame them if they yeah. didn't, but like... <laughs> Yeah, like, what is going on here? I don't know, maybe they just skipped All-Stars. Like, they heard how terrible it was, and they're like, Mmm, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just pretend probably. that season never happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As I sat myself down to the very familiar boat, my stomach started doing flips. Why am I so nervous to be on a TV show when I've been on numerous of times? When we approached the island, some of the contestants were standing by the dock. I skipped through the familiar faces to find no Spanish man to be seen. Thank goodness. There she comes, another fan favorite. She's feisty, nasty, ruthless, and just an awful person. Welcome back, Heather! <laughs> hey, that's a little fucking room, McLean. What the fuck? Yeah! I grabbed, Damn. I grabbed Chris's hand as he helped me off the boat. Chris, you're lucky my lawyers are on vacation right now. My gray eyes glared at him before making my way towards Zoe. Does she even know who Zoe is? I mean, I guess they maybe they she watched the the other seasons out of yeah. curiosity. Oh, she was, mm. I forgot she was a she was one of the re, she returned as like a guest on Revenge of the Island. Yeah, that is true. Fuck and they up. were also on the same season on All Stars. I oh think. yeah, that's right. Not I'm so stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I, I just like my brain wants to block out all stars. <laughs> I I totally get it. I yeah. definitely get it. <laughs> Understandable, cause same here. Yeah. I never really knew her besides being together on All Stars for that short period of time. She wasn't memorable, but a good ally. I restrained from making any small talk with the contestants next to me and focus on the contestants coming in. My mind went at ease as I noticed that jerk hasn't shown up yet. Maybe this year things there's gonna be diff lastly we have the famous heartbreaking manipulative evil hispanic <laughs> man of all of total drama history alejandro <laughs> let's go <laughs> i also forgot to mention that he's also heather's sugar <laughs> shut your mouth mclean a snarl like escaped my lips damn was that a thing was it oh mm-hmm Chris gave me a wink and then focused back on the contestant that was getting off the boat. My heart s s falls into the pit of my stomach as I see him walking on the dock and giving his famous wicked grin to the same girls who fell in love with him. <laughs> Chris, I'm so glad to see you again. He gives the host a quick hug before making his way towards me. Heather, I missed you so much. Venom was oozing from his voice as he stared me down. What do you want? My eyes met his for the first time in eight years, and I try my, I try to make it seem like I didn't care about his comment. Am I not allowed to say I'm, how much I miss you? His face was cold. His eyes didn't even show a hint of color in them. 
If you actually miss me, you would have tried to at least reach out. Well, someone didn't give me their number. I rolled my eyes and kept my lazy stare. A hundred price closer to me and my whole body freezes in response. My eyes wouldn't move from his and as he gives me a satisfied look. Why does he have to stand right next to me? I swear he better not get in my head with his beautiful eyes and his Ugh, I need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like me simping over fucking fictional characters. I'm like, I won't simp hey. for his luscious locks and his beautiful eyes. Oh, fuck. I did it again. <laughs> same. That literally, literally the same, though. That's like me getting into One Piece. I'm like, all right, I'm not going to simp for any characters. Yeah. I won't do it. And then here I am. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I can't escape. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> okay, campers. Welcome back. This season's not exactly splitting up into two teams, Chris says with a sm little smile. A wave of whispers and gas emerge as the smug smirk surfaces on his lips. You will find out tonight, but for now, go unpack and get comfortable. Don't worry, we only have big spa-like mansions instead of cabins because we got in quote-unquote big trouble, he says while quoting with his arm, with his fingers. Thank God, because I wasn't about to sleep in that disgusting cabin again. <laughs> As I grabbed my things, I could feel a pair of eyes stare at me. The hairs on my neck go up, and I immediately started to make my way towards the room. Once I make it down the main hall, I noticed there was not one, but two names on the doors. The first door I saw had Trent and Gwen's name on it, while the second had Jeff and Brid Jeff and Bridget made it, thank God! And why does Trent and Gwen Yay. get their own? <laughs> right? I, I, I didn't think they were a couple. I thought, like, Trent moved on and Gwen got broken up with, with Duncan. I thought that's where it was. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, well, I guess this is our rewriting. I, I guess a lot of things yeah. can happen in eight years. Probably. Right as I slowly make my way down, I finally realized what Chris meant by not splitting us into groups this season. I could tell it was going to be all about the relationships that have happened for this godforsaken show. After seeing tons of names I totally forgot existed, I'm finally standing in front of the door with my name on it as well as Alejandro's. Dude, this means fucking Chris is like an active shipper. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was taking notes, dude. He was. <laughs> Why do I feel like this is going to be the longest season of my life? I open my, my door to the room to see that there's only one bed? Oh no! <laughs> Wait, what? There's only one bed. It's like the fucking. Remember the fucking. I, you, you probably read a lot of Wattpad books. You know that stupid trope that like they go to check in a hotel room, but there's only like one room, and then they get there, and it. Oh my god! It's only one bed, <laughs> and you have to share it. This is what it's reminding me of. <laughs> Gosh, yeah. No, 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 this has to be a mistake. There's no way I'm going to be sleeping in the same bed as that jerk face. I clung my- I chucked my things on t across the room and stormed down the hallway and head towards the, the huge room on the opposite wing. The door makes a loud sound as I slam it open and stop over to the house. Chris, you better have a good explanation to why there's only one fucking bed in my room. I shouted at him while he's while still making my way over. Look, we don't have enough money for two beds, okay? So make do with what we got. <laughs> you're, uh, so you're telling me you have enough money to rent out this, build this huge ass mansion on this island, but not yeah. enough money to put two beds. <laughs> yeah. Just, just two twin size beds. That's all you need. Exactly. <laughs> Chris is just, he, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, he does. He, he definitely does. Besides, having one bed is so much more interesting than two, he says while giving me his classic laugh. You better figure this out soon or else I will end your little career. I slowly turn around to rush out, hoping no one sees my cheeks turn bright red. Once I finally compose myself to what had just happened, I make my way back to my room to finish unpacking. Before I could even reach the doorknob, the door opens and I see that semi-happy Alejandro looking down at me. I noticed his entire suitcase was empty and he was holding his last shirt in his hand. I don't know how to read Spanish. Mi heram... Mi heramo amor. Hermoso amor, I think. Yeah. 
Oh, you're not supposed to pronounce the H. I forgot. The H is silent. Me, 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 hermoso, and more. Yeah, I don't know what that says, though. <laughs> yeah. Isn't this amazing? Not only do we get an upgrade from the cabins, but I get to sleep with you. He purrs as he drops his shirt and, and pulls me in, in before closing the door. Here's the deal, Alajur... Bro. A dro whatever. <laughs> this room is only meant for us to sleep in. We'll be fine if you stay on your side and I stay on my side. Unless you want to sleep in the tub, I said while crossing my arms. I take a look around the room to see that he neatly folded his clothes and put them on the rack in the closet, leaving me the entire dresser. Okay, what are you trying to do? I finally looked at him in the eyes. What do you mean? There is more space in the drawers that could be, that should be empty if I used it. Besides, my mother taught me to be a gentleman first. He gives me a week. Will you stop playing these games? This morning you acted as if I was a parasite, and now you want to pet me? Wait, what? What? <laughs> I'm a little confused. Wait, wait huh? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe he fucking flipped like a dime, my guy. Uh, yeah. My emotions were getting the best of me, and as I seen his face soften for the first time today. Heather, do you think I feel about... How do you think I feel about all this? Of course I'm mad about how we left things, but I'm as happy as ever to see how this ended up. He gently rested his arms around my waist and pulled me closer to him. Let go of me, you jerk! We already tried love and it didn't work. Give it a break. Besides, we are both here to win, so just focus on that. I said, trying to pry myself out of his grasp, but I failed. Heather, it was... That was almost eight years ago. You don't understand how long I've been waiting to see you again. He gently grabs my chin, forcing me to look into his deep emerald eyes again. Does he have <laughs> green eyes? I think he, yeah, I think he does. I don't remember that. I remember, I think all the characters in Total Drama have, have black eyes, right? Well, I mean, I could yeah. be completely wrong about that. <laughs> I'm not gonna a look up, too. I'm not gonna look up a picture of Alejandro. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> but I'll believe them. I mean, they yeah. reference it a lot. Yeah. Tis, you're probably just saying that so we can, so you can play me again. I swatted his hand away and attempt to get him out of my grasp again. How about this? During our time on this island, let me show you the love I was supposed to give you before, before while we take control of the season. He says while well, taking a piece of tucking a piece of my hair behind my ear. His heart was beating fast in the mind, and I couldn't tell if he was lying or not. There is a chance where he was just playing me, but maybe he did change. No! You need to focus on what's more important. Like a million dollars. <laughs> Even though, like, Heather just, like, before, it was confirmed that, like, Heather has her own assistant. She's, like, so that means she makes a shit ton of money to just have a secretary. <laughs> yeah. So she's doing fine. <laughs> she's probably making yeah, like, six figures. Yeah, like, what do you need the money for? Yeah, well, I guess she did have no choice to come back, but... Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess if, you, if you're there, might as well try to win a million dollars. Yeah, I... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it never hurts the bank account. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My mind was already jumbled and, and in so much pain for what was happening. I couldn't stand it. I'll tell you my decision tonight at the bonfire, but for now, leave, I yelled while pushing him out through the door. I locked the door before I ungracefully fell to the floor. I rubbed my temples as I think over the conversation we had through the day and cringed at my behavior. Normally, I would, I'm more composed than that, but I guess he did always bring out the monster in me. Why, out of all the people, did I have to be with him? He's just going to play with my feelings and steal my money once again. I hate it. I hate the feeling of being heartbroken and in pain. Why wouldn't he- Why would he put me through that again? Does he really hate me that much? In the corner of my eye, I noticed the time of the clock and the bonfire was about to start. A groan escaped my mouth as I stand, stood up and grabbed my sweatshirt and headed out the door. Time to face my fear and win this thing. Alright. That was chapter one. Even so in the fucking comments at the bottom was like, huh? Sugar daddy. Right? Yeah, same here. I was like, huh? That's so <laughs> fucking weird. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, day one of torture. Oh boy. Yeehaw. Hmm. Uh, Heather's POV. Finding my way to the campfire was just like a very nostalgic maze. I didn't want to. I didn't want to walk through. Seeing all the familiar surroundings again for the first time in almost eight years makes me want to run away and puke. Once I finally see a light and a few laughs and giggles, I knew I was getting close. As I take each step towards the campfire, I can hear contestants talking and catching up before the season tr truthfully starts. Honestly, I kind of regret not making more than two friends during my time on the show. Yeah, I played the game and I won a season, but the only friends I got... I got from it was Cody and Sierra, which I still don't understand how I became friends with them. But they are probably the best friends I've ever had. We've done so much together these past eight years, and I wouldn't change a thing. Aww. Cute. <laughs> yeah. I I look around to find an open seat, but to my surprise, there are si there are assigned seating. I would say I am shocked, but for what happened earlier. I really am not. When I finally found my name, I noticed a certain name next to mine. My jaw clenches as I let as I let out an angry huff seeing his name. It's Alejandro. <laughs> <laughs> he is the most insufferable man I ever I have ever met. Yet I can't believe I dated him and loved him for a certain amount of time. Why so angry, Chica? I think this is I think this is a miracle that we are next to each other. He gives me a cheeky grin. Oh, shut up. They want they want to see us interact so we can so we can have content. God, I can't stand him. Before Alejandro could even respond, the sound of an air horn, air horn was blown, grabbing everyone's attention. Evening campers or camper. Chris's voice echoes through the microphone. I I hope I hope you all are situated and comfortable with the new living situation. There were a bunch of nods and a few groans in response. N now, 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 I know you all are, are probably wondering why the famous couple, the famous couples have been formed during the show, are in the season. I roll, I roll my eyes at what he's about to say next. Well, this season is all about love. <laughs> you all have been assigned to a certain person that you have developed a relationship with throughout the show. Oh, please tell me Harold and Lashana are in this. Yes, <laughs> I need that. <laughs> Yes. There are a bunch of gasp and whispers amongst the others. Honestly, this was so predictable. Seriously, the only contestants that are back are back are known for their relationships. Couples assigned each room. And assigned seating? How could you not know? So this means that there are no more teams to help and rely on for winning? Chris pauses for a second before continuing. One million dollars! He yells while holding up the same metal briefcase that was the prize for every single seat. <laughs> season we already know it's the same prize money every single season courtney rolls her eyes at the host oh no yeah. she's back um not courtney that means she's <laughs> fucking room with duncan i know it <laughs> oh no god Dang it. <laughs> she just never goes away does she no she never does She's like a roach. She's like a parasite. Like, you can never get exactly. rid of her. <laughs> exactly. It's like a cockroach in in infestation. I exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, but the viewers don't, C Chris says defensively. Chris, this is the exact same prize we've had since season one, I point out, which causes a bunch of buys going straight to me. But do you want it or not? There are a bunch of yeses, but I stayed quiet. Personally, I don't really need the money, but I wouldn't be mad if I had it. All I all I want is to win the stupid thing and maybe make another friend along the way. So there's no one to rely on. So there's no one to rely on but each other. Alejandro says while moving his seat closer to mine. Yes, which means you have to be civil with each other. I, I say while crossing my while crossing my arms and and glare daggers at the Hispanic man man next to me. Well, senorita. We, 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 well, senorita, we will have to be more than just civil. <laughs> Alejandro says very seductively. <laughs> you and I will never be a thing, okay? You and I will never be a thing, okay? You don't know that just yet, me and more. 
Oh my oh god, my that's god. the name of the Dalla Tyler book! <laughs> yeah! Oh god, I just oh, saw it, it updated a while ago. Oh really? Yeah, they, they posted a new chapter and I'm, I kind of want to add it to the reading list, but it'll be like super short though, if we do a yeah. reading of it. Oh. <laughs> Oh gosh. Maybe when they complete it, we'll add it back to the wheel. Okay. <laughs> on on the meeting, what once the meeting finally ends, it, it was time to head back to our rooms for the night. The only thing I'm not excited about is sleeping next to him. I haven't seen him for almost eight years, and I'm expected to sleep next to him. Obviously, fight. Obviously, finding it won't get me anywhere. So I guess I have to suck it up. I take out the key. I ke I take out the key from my pocket and opening the door. And, and opening the door, expecting Alejandro to be in the room. But when I walk in, it's empty! Yes! I quickly grab my night clothes and get changed in the bathroom. I, br I, I brush my teeth and get ready for bed so I can fall asleep before that dumbass comes in. Unfortunately, my, fr my plan becomes shortly lit with when Alejandro slams the bathroom door open, leaving me in only in my undergarments. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, oh no indeed. <laughs> I, I don't- I have a bad feeling about this. I do. This- this was oh. labeled just complete, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, no. Wait, was it labeled mature and we didn't realize it? I don't know. I don't know, actually. Oh, no. I probably should have looked, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember now. Me either. Brain very foggy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me oh, look. No. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no! okay, okay, it's just listen it's just listen complete. Alright, we're good. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good. Hopefully they didn't forget to label it mature. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna pray to the Wattpad <laughs> gods real quick. Yes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Dear God, why did you leave us? <laughs> oh god, please don't do anything okay. weird. <laughs> Okay, okay. We can we can do this. We can do this. If we are going to win this, then no secrets, he said while his eyes start to roam <gasps> by school's body. Bitch. <laughs> oh no 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 <laughs> Whoa, what? No 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 wait what? No 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 <laughs> Okay <laughs> 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 Why is it so funny? Okay. First off, get out of the bathroom. Second, there's no way I will let you watch me get changed or take a shower. I grab my towel and quickly cover my body in embarrassment. Alejandro rolls his eyes and leans the door frame. Look, look, we both agreed that we only have each other to win the stupid game. So to make sure we win, no more secrets. Why? Like you aren't full of fucking secrets? I mumbled the last part. What do you mean? He says, rubbing his dimples in annoyance. His words were already making me build up an annoyance, knowing that his conversation wouldn't end well. So you really think I would believe I, I would believe that you won't take the million and just run away again? I said through my teeth. His jaw clenched before replying. Me and more, you don't understand why I why I had to do it. Yeah, because you won't tell me, I yelled back, my voice now raspy and filled with anger. We both stand still for a second. I look down and realize I still, I'm still, i still in my towel. He hands me a shirt and turns around to let me change. As I changed, no words were exchanged. I still I still clear my throat. He turned back around, his green eyes going back to my, to my gray ones. My family, he begins, letting out a long breath before continuing. Oh, we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a backstory with him now. Oh shit. I love me a good un like uncanny backstory. Same. I I'm like a sucker for those kinds of things. Like I love I love those things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My family expected me to pull to 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 pull such a scheme. There was no other way out of it. His eyes look away with shame. His mood subtly shifted as he looks back at me. I had to, I I had to do it to bring honor to my family's name and to be where I am now. If I recall, all of your honor was flushed away just like you just like you when you got eliminated in All-Stars, I retort back. Quite the opposite, actually. I was praised and loved even even more once I beat my brother, he says proudly to himself. Oh yeah, I forgot you did. 
I forgot you did that. I say trying not to remember what he said during that challenge. Woo! What? Oh, he, oh yeah, he like I think his brother insulted Heather, and then he beat him up for it. Yeah. What did you even gain from getting from getting that that honor? He 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 takes a step closer to me. I inherited my dad's company, which makes me the wealthiest man man, man in Spain. He takes another step, causing me to take one back. A small start soon grows as he as he sees a surprise across my face. I also became one of the top models here in Canada, which which I, which I though you would be would would be too. But I but I guess you choose a different path. Or chose a different path. Yeah, shoes. Okay. He takes one last step towards me, basically pinning me against the sink. Okay, you can stop gloating about the perfect life, how, how perfect your life is now. Not everyone is as happy as you are. I cross my arms and give him an annoyed glare. Well, yes, I did receive almost everything I have ever wanted. I am also I am also kind of kind of content where I am in life. Then why are you here? You didn't have the sign. You you didn't have to sign the contract that I did. I said, raising an eyebrow at him. You're right. I did. I did have a choice to come here or not. He says, leaning in to the point where he in he is inches away from my space. Then then please explain to me why you are here. I came here to get you back. I slowly opened my eyes to see a sleeping Alejandro next to me. His mouth is slightly open and and small snores come out. Which makes my heart melt just a tiny bit. Ooh, the romance! Your heart melt, you say, Heather? Ooh. Her her cold heart grew three sizes that night. <laughs> yep, sure did. I quickly notice his arm is draped over me, but I don't feel the need to freak out. I calmly move his arm, his arm off of me, and go straight towards the bathroom to get ready for today. After last night's conversation, I couldn't help but at least make a pact with them. It it will for sure help us win during our time here. But there is a there's a consequence if we don't win. Just even thinking about it gives me a shiver that goes down down my spine. But there was another thing that he said last night and it keeps me and it keeps keep, and it keeps creeping into my mind. Something I didn't expect at all. It was so genuine and I don't know if I if I should believe it or not. But it was the sweet, sweetest thing anyone has ever said to me. And I just don't know how to puke. I just don't know know to puke or be happy about it. I finally finished I finally finished my long. Oh, I finally finished my long but well needed shower and and and, st and, and start getting ready for this long and brutal day. I quickly open I quickly open the door and Alejandro falls into the bathroom. Um, good morning, Mia Moore. I'll just go ahead and get ready, Alejandro stands up with a with a faint blush on his face. I'm going to get breakfast at the dining hall. Meet me there, I say before I close the bathroom door. I grab my shoes and hurriedly put them on. I get up and grab the keys to my room. I started making my way down to the cafeteria hoping I hoping I will be able to survive the second day of this stupid show. We're getting plot development. We're getting romance. Yeah, let's go. This oh. is actually this is actually really good. I want to know who else is here. All we know is that there's like Zoe's here, and I'm assuming Mike. Mike. And, yeah. and then Courtney's here. I'm assuming Duncan's also oh. here. Uh, Bridget and Jeff are here. Gwen and Trent, and then obviously Heather and Alejandro. But who else yep. is here? I want to know. Yeah. Me too. I wanna know who they pulled from Redakio's race. Like was, Yeah. Oh shit. What was the, the like the best friends? Yeah, yeah, Devin and Carrie. Yeah. They could have pulled the daters because I think they actually started liking each other like right when they got eliminated. Oh yeah, Ryan and Stephanie. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if there's any other ones. There's the goths, on and Crimson. Oh yeah, that's right. they I don't know if Chris would wanna get them on the show. Okay, okay, <laughs> true though. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. I wish they told us, like, how they scanned the crowd and gave us, like, a brief description of, like, well, at least what they looked like. That would have helped yeah. me. <laughs> uh-huh. Alright, Heather's point of view. Breakfast this season was surprisingly good. It's not like the slop that Chef gave us for three full seasons. As I was about to finish my fruit, Chris walks into the cafeteria with a microphone. 
Please meet me outside on the beach in 10 minutes for your first challenge. I looked over at Alejandro and I couldn't help but feel a bit more calm seeing him so peaceful. Come on, loser. It's time to go and win a challenge. I get up and start heading towards the exit. As we make our way towards the beach, I start to analyze different contestants' body language as if they're in, they're in it to win it. Once we make it to the others, Chris makes his entrance on a four-wheeler. Welcome campers to your first challenge, he says while getting out of the vehicle. Today, you guys will be hunting for these specific hearts, he says while pulling out a small but very glossy red heart. All you have to do is find 10 hearts and then go across the finish line in order to win the challenge, he says while putting away the heart. Now, there are hearts all around the beach. They're either buried in the sand, under a seashell, or by the dock. Okay, Chris, we get it. Can we start the stupid challenge now? Joe says impatiently, who the f- Oh, wait, wait, if Joe's here, who the fuck is with Joe? <laughs> wait, Joe? Yeah, it says Joe wait. says impatiently. Oh. Wait, what if I- Please? I with Brick. I was like, oh, please sell me Brick's yeah. here. Yeah. He's I my favorite. So. Same. You have to find at least 10 hearts to win the challenge and get to save from tonight's elimination, Chris says while rolling his eyes. There, each pair gets one bag to not lose their hearts. Now, if you are to be caught stealing a bag from another contender, you'll be banished from here for the rest of the game. Any Anyways, everyone, good luck! Okay, I'll start digging by that palm tree while you go check out the dock, okay? Chris, uh, sorry, Alejandro says while whispering to me. I nod and we both make our way to the starting line. On your mark, get set, go, Chris yells while blowing his horn. I started sprinting towards the dock, going, wait. Oh, yeah, Alejandro's doing the palm tree thing. I was like, <laughs> oopsie. <laughs> I started sprinting towards the dock, going the opposite direction that everyone else was going, so if we make it to the first fishing boat. Once I reached the old boat, I quickly scanned the different planks of wood. I was about to leave, and then I noticed something red sticking out at the end of the boat. What the heck? I moved the disgusting piece of wood when five hearts fell out of the boat. My mouth soon turned to a smirk. Bingo. This is way too easy of a challenge, even for Chris. I put the five hearts in my bag and went and left the pouch rest on my stomach so there was a, a least chance of someone, of someone stealing the hearts. Once I finish zipping up the bag, I, in, I get up and head towards the other boat. As soon as I scan the other boats for more hearts, I noticed two hearts sticking out some planks of wood on the, on the dock. I swear, Chris must have gotten into deep trouble for making these challenges so easy. After I put the two hearts away, I, I turned over and started heading towards the others in hopes of finding Alejandro. I see Alejandro digging around looking for more hearts. It's kind of funny to see the supermodel digging in the sand. As I make my way over, I saw two hearts sticking out of his foot pocket. I quickly grab his heart, and this spend heart turns around and then grabs my wrist. It's just me, idiot. I just didn't want anyone taking the hearts, I said while putting them in the bag with the rest on my stomach. He lets go of my wrist with a smug smile and, and, and a smug smile grows on his face. What are you smiling about? Oh, nothing. Just the fact that you just <laughs> touched my butt. <laughs> huh? Uh, yep, that's what he said. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, is he being serious right now? Yep, that's... I, sure. <laughs> can we please focus on the challenge? We literally win this... We can literally win this right now, I say while brushing off the sand from my clothes. Well, I think it'll be fair if I get to touch your <laughs> since you touched mine, he wakes back. Hmm. <laughs> Let me think about it. <laughs> no! I started walking off towards the finish line. We haven't found all the heart. Maybe if you focus on what I was telling you, I you would know that I've already collected eight hearts. I continue walking away from him. Wait, Heather, don't you think this challenge is a bit easy? I mean, normally the challenges would we would have to face. We almost die. This doesn't seem right, he says while looking away. Honestly, I noticed that too. But it's probably because Chris got into some real trouble and wasn't allowed to do dangerous challenges anymore. He nods in response and keeps up the pace with me. Besides, the easier the challenges, the more likely we are to win. I said with confidence growing in each step I take. As we are. <laughs> Pathetic. 
Alejandro says close to my ear. I just don't understand why, how they all are struggling, I whisper back. I guess that means they have we have nothing to worry about. A smirk slowly grows on my face. This is going to be the easiest season ever. Out of my way, morons! Alejandro and I look at each other. I turn to see Courtney and Duncan sprinting towards us. Great, just what we needed. Shit, run, me and more, run! We both started sprinting. Wait a minute, they only have eight! They don't they need ten? <laughs> yeah. Well, eight? Yeah, they still. Another said that. Oh, maybe she she said she found eight, right? And then Alejandro had two, so I guess that makes ten. Yeah. Yeah. I thought overall they had eight, and I'm like, no, you you still need two more, girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How the hell did they get all ten hearts? I don't know, but focus. We we are literally inches away from sweet victory, Alejandro says while grabbing my wrist. I started running as fast as I could, and let's just say I'm very thankful for doing early running in the morning. I never wanted to win more than ever, but I don't understand why. Alejandro and I kept running until I felt a pain surge in my foot. Everything started going in slow motion. I saw Alejandro look back at me in horror. I looked back to see Courtney and Duncan catching up. I guess this is it. I feel the winning wash over my body just as fast as it came in. Why do I feel like this? I've never felt like this in my entire life. It's just the first round anyway, so why am I feeling so defeated? Yes, victory is ours, Courtney yells while almost passing us. Oh, I wouldn't say anything yet, you two. Alejandro picks me up and puts me on his back and immediately starts sprinting again. I should have known he would do this. <laughs> He swiftly passes Courtney and Duncan, he jumps across the finish line, and all of our ten hearts fall out of the bag. The A lands straight on his stomach, and then I fall right on top of him. I don't know how to fucking pronounce that! <laughs> no? Ola... Uh, no? Oh, oh, I think it's Ola Nina Bonita. I... I guess. I don't know what that yeah. means, though. Or Nina. Maybe. I'll ask, yeah. I'll ask one of my Spanish friends. <laughs> okay. He hustily whispers in my ear. I couldn't help but look away from him. Ew, Heather, when do you ever get flustered? Courtney fake gags and I never wanted to slap her more than, than in that moment. You better shut up before I come over there and beat the living sh Before I could continue, Alejandro puts a hand over my mouth. Calm down, Mia Moore. You don't want to injure your ankle even more, but since it looks a little swollen, I'm glad to be your personal. What the fuck does that say? Caviar? No, that's not caviar. <laughs> personal. Uh, uh. I don't know. Doctor. <laughs> I don't. Your... What? I, I don't, don't know either. I fucking no idea. I'm the last person anyone should ask of. Hey, how do you pronounce this word? Kind of thing. So. Yeah. <laughs> He wiggles his eyebrow at me. He is the most annoying man I've ever met in my life. Have I ever told you how cute you look when you blush? He says while tucking a strand of hair away behind my ear. Before I could respond, Chris clears his throat, signaling that it's his turn to talk. Congratulations to the hottest couple, Alejandro and Heather. You guys are safe from the first elimination tonight. You guys will have to go, so enjoy a free night together, Chris says while winking his eye at us. That's it? Where's our reward? I said while crossing my arms. Uh, Heather, don't do that. Alejandro says while looking away. Once I noticed what he was talking about, I unfolded my arms. Why were they even looking? Ugh, never mind. I looked back at Chris. You guys get a nice day out during your next challenge. A little date is what I like to call it. Chris says. Oh, not a spa day. You guys say while groaning. Nope. This year, each winner gets to have a nice day with their partner. It's good for the views. Chris pulls out the chart showing us what the viewers want. <laughs> well then, Mia Monte, why don't we go have some fun? I like this. This was cute. What? Cute, actually. Yeah, this, this is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. <laughs> Yeah, like that one part where Heather was like changing made me kind of worried. I was like, oh no, we're gonna get some like, uh, I don't know what. 
Dude, if we started doing weird shit, I would immediately put back this score and be like, So what'd you think? And just end it. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> I'll be like, wow, that was crazy. Anyway, we're gonna end the episode there. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> so, so what did you think? That was actually pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, and there is a lot more chapters to this. I'm hoping most of them are author's notes, because if it's actually 31 parts, then we're never gonna get through this book. <laughs> yeah, there, there's no way. <laughs> yeah. But uh, if you guys would like to read this book, I'll have a link down in the description down below. Also, this writing style is also really good, so please support the, the author on this. Mm -hmm. Also, if you guys do finish the first book, apparently there's a sequel. I don't know what the sequel's yep. about, though. <laughs> Hopefully no. it's not in, like, a season setting. Hopefully it's just, like, them chilling at home and they're, like, yeah. adapting to, like, their new lives or some shit like that. Yeah. I wish most books got to do that when they establish like a like a like two characters finally coming together like at the end of the book and living their life like finally like becoming a couple. I wish we got to see yeah. like afterwards and everything like. Yeah, me too. Like a kind of like a behind the scenes thing or something. Yeah. I don't know. Just a wish that I've always had. <laughs> yep. <Yeah>, same. <laughs> yeah. But uh, now it's everyone's favorite segment where uh we spin the magic wheel and we see how fucked we are the next time i had to record <laughs> yeehaw yep it's only the best part of the show <laughs> yep exactly all right so as as long as it doesn't land on alejandro x, x uh heather we will read it uh, hoping for some some shit good Tyler and Lindsay! Please okay. tell me there's a Tyler X Lindsay book that we ever find one! I don't think we've- I don't think we've have yet. Oh Maybe. no. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta find something. <laughs> yeah. They've been around for a while, like season one, and then it was like season three as well. Three. There yeah. has to be a book out there. There needs to be. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now I'm gonna, now I'm like, right after this, I'm gonna have to, like, search on Wattpad, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Tyler X. Lindsay. Uh -huh. Hey, if there's not a book, I'm fine with reading, like, a collection of one-shots of them. Like, that would be cool. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, I'll, that would be. We'll find something. We'll try. Yeah. What's the, what's the backup plan if we can't find one? <laughs> we just like just pick right. a random ship. Hey, yeah. we can we can read we can lead dot. Yeah. <laughs> we can put ourselves through that hellhole. Yep. <laughs> that will surely be fun. Oh, you're bringing a dot like fucking uh, what the fuck like Don X Scott? That would be <laughs> yeah. That'd be torture. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, well, well, thank you, Kenzie, for joining me on another Wattpad book club session. You're I welcome. yeah, I, I'm I'm so glad. Like out of the two people that I've I rec like I started recording with at this, I'm glad you stayed. That that's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And also, please check out Kenzie's channel. They make uh they made some uh this Venture Camp content, and they're making some more content out now. So go support my homegirl. I, that's that's not a request. That's a demand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, my name is Phoenix, and that was uh, Kenzie. And I guess we'll see you guys next time for another Wattpad reading. Bye. Bye.